Hi, I already discussed chapter 1 that is algorithm analysis, its lecture and previous question. Let's discuss chapter 2 that is brute force technique. In chapter 2, I will discuss sequential sorts, selection sort, bubble sort, radix sort, depth force sorts and breadth force sorts. Let's first understand what is brute force technique. Brute force is a straightforward approach for solving a problem usually based on the problem statement and definition of the concept involved. So whatever the statement of the problem or definition of the problem we solve based on that that is called as brute force technique. The force is not for someone's, the force is for computers. Or you can say just do it will be another way to describe brute force approach and brute force strategy is one of the easiest way to apply. It's easy to understand, it's easy to apply, but time complexity may be more than other approaches. First brute force technique I will discuss sequential search. So what is searching? The searching problem deals with finding a given value called as source key in a given set. One set of element is given, some key is given, we need to find, we need to source that key from that set of element. Let's discuss sequential sorts algorithm. Algorithm sequential sorts A 0 to n minus 1, K 0 to n minus 1 at the index. So what is input? Input is the array and a source key. Output, output will be the index of the first element of A that matches K or you can say the source key and minus 1 if no matching found. So index of the source key if matching found, if no matching found then it will return minus 1. Initially i equals to 0 while i less than n and a of i not equals to k do i equals to i plus 1. So when these two conditions satisfy i value will increment. Next if i value is less than n return i else return minus 1. Let's take an example. This is a array let n equals to 5 means it contain 5 value and these are the index. Index start from 0 till n minus 1. n is 5 so last index is 4. We need to take one key let key equals to 8. So we have array and key. All input are given. Next, we need to find the index of the first element of R that matches the key. So, initially i equals to 0, i is here. Then we need to check while i less than n, 0 less than n, yes, satisfy. Then a of 0 not equals to k. a of 0 is what? 5. That we need to compare with 8. 5 not equals to 8, yes. So i value will be increment. Previously i was 0, now it will be 0 plus 1. So next i will be here. Again check the while condition 1 less than n, yes it satisfy. And a of 1 not equals to k. What is a of 1 is 3. 3 we need to compare with 8. 3 is not equals to 8, yes. So both conditions satisfy. That's why i value will increase. Now i value will be 2. Previously it was 1. Next 2 is less than n. Yes 2 is less than 5. And a of 2. What is a of 2? 8. So compare 8 with the key. 8 equals to 8. So this condition doesn't satisfy. Will exit from the loop. Now i value is less than n. 2 is less than 5, return i. So, we will return 2. We are searching the key 8. We found 8. Its index is 2. So, we will return 2. We consider the key as 8. So, we just did 3 comparison. If key will be 5 or key will be the first element, then we will do just 1 comparison. If key will be last element, then we will do n comparison. So if key is placed at first position that will be our best case. If key is placed at last position that will be our worst case. If key is present at middle that will be our average case. We can say worst case or average case running time is big O of n. 
and best case will be big O of 1 if key is present at first position that will be best case if key is present at medial or key is present at last that is your average case and post case and average number of comparison is n plus 1 divided 2 this is all about sequential sorts one r is given one key is given we need to source that key in the given array. So we need to compare one by one element. We'll compare key with the first element. If matching found, that index will return, else I value will increase. Then we'll compare with the second element. Then we'll compare with the third element like this. When matching found, we'll return that index. Next, I'll discuss sorting problem. The sorting problem is to rearrange the item of a given list in increasing order. I will discuss selection sort and bubble sort that comes under wood force technique in next lecture. If today lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.